Happy New Year, everyone. Um, wanted to do a quick video here, kind of going over the new Retail Essentials point of sale software. Um, you know, there's, there's in the U.S. alone, there's about 38,000 stores using the Microsoft Dynamics RMS, or Retail Management System Store Operation point of sale program. And some of them also use the headquarters module. And of course, that program is end of life. And a lot of everybody's been kind of anxiously waiting for what will come out for the replacement. So we don't have a lot of details, but I thought uh, at least I would share with you very quickly what I know about Retail Essentials, what I don't know, and kind of what's subject to change. And I'm going to go through this kind of quick because I know I've been getting so many calls and emails about this, um, not just from existing RMS and HQ users, but also from... Uh, folks who are looking for a point of sale solution and need to know if this is going to be something that is uh, a viable solution. So as far as retail essentials, what we know is, first of all, the correct full name of the software is Retail Realm Essentials powered by Microsoft Dynamics. So basically, Retail Essentials is going to be sold and supported via trained or certified Dynamics partners, and it will be actually be distributed by Retail Realm, which course, currently distributes the uh, Dynamics RMS point-of-sale solution. Uh, Retail Essentials will have a data mapping utility, so you can pull uh, the various, you know, like your inventory customers, things like that, out of RMS and HQ and push it into Retail Essentials. Now, I don't know if that's going to include history, on-hand amounts, things like that. Uh, it's a little bit over my technical level, given uh, the limited information we have about Retail Essentials at this point. Uh, my conversations with Retail Realm have indicated that Retail Essentials has a very similar feature set uh, to what you saw in RMS as far as what it can do. Specific, um, you know, when you get into the inventory and customers and all the little details within the point of sale program. If there are any gaps, um, Retail Realm mentioned a couple. One is, you know, an integrated shopping cart and also integration with uh, Dynamics Great Plains or Dynamics GP for accounting um, that will be filled via third-party solutions that will be uh, provided by Retail Realm. Hopefully that will fill in any gaps. Target deployment date right now is late quarter one of 2015, uh, specifically late February, early March. Obviously, that only gives us, this is early January right now, so it doesn't give us a lot of time to get uh, partners trained. Uh, so we'll see how that date holds together. And as many folks already know, uh, especially the larger places using Dynamics, RMS, and HQ, basically this Retail Essentials is kind of like a, a point of sale only version of Dynamics AX. So, you know, the accounting and all the other functions in AX are turned off and you just get kind of a core point of sale solution. So here's what we don't know. Um, obviously price. Another big one is the license structure. You know, with RMS, there, there was a huge advantage in that you were only buying lanes to use for, for selling for the point of sale module. And so I, you know, some of the places I've worked with, they've got 10 plus copies of the manager running and you don't need to buy a license for that. So, you know, there's a huge cost advantage with RMS and HQ over, um, you know, programs like, like NCR Counterpoint. We also don't know, you know, there are rumors flying around about this whole license swap option where RMS and HQ users can do a one for one license swap or upgrade to go to Retail Essentials, we don't know. That, that has not yet been verified. Uh, I will say if that does happen, it's only going to be available to folks who are current on a maintenance agreement for their RMS and HQ solution. So if you haven't been, you know, staying current on your maintenance agreement each year, then it, it's a new point. I uh, don't know hardware and peripheral compatibility. You know, is it going to work with the same, you know, RMS was heavy on the OPOS drivers. It's going to work with that same set of hardware and peripherals. Uh, 
I put an urgent request out for who's actually, you know, going to sign on to be a Retail Essentials partner, you know, these, uh, to be certified and uh, trained to sell and support the program. And we don't know what the hardware and OS requirements are uh, as far as the actual, you know, computer guts and server requirements and things like that. Some things that are kind of subject to change related to Retail Essentials. The you know, initial indications are there's going to be six to ten Dynamics partners in the U.S. that will sell and support retail essentials. It's going to be targeted towards small chains, you know, somewhere between two and 24 locations. Uh, targeted towards businesses with internal IT resources. This isn't a, a do-it-yourself program. Um, it's not designed for single store locations or you know, smaller museums, places like that. It sounds like it's just going to be too intensive and probably too cost prohibitive. Uh, same for, it's not a good replacement for a single location RMS, or maybe a little two-store chain. Uh, it's only doing maybe 300, 400, 500,000 in gross annual sales per location. It, it sounds like it's just not going to be a good match for that. In all honesty, you know, having worked with so many different point of sale programs over the years, it really sounds like this program is being positioned to compete directly with NCR Counterpoint. There's a lot of things I put on here and have learned about Retail Essentials almost directly match the NCR Counterpoint solution. So that's kind of just a quick overview you can always contact me i will try to keep the blog site updated as more information becomes available uh, of course my goal is just to provide some free information and advice don't represent a actual point of sale company it's just a hobby got a day job um but i i have a lot of folks relying on me and i know there's somewhere between 36,000 and 40,000 folks in the u.s using rms that really need to know uh Need some good solid advice on what to do. So I hope that helps. And again, contact me if you have questions. Thanks.